So, uh, I'd have to say sitting on, on a composting toilet in the middle of the woods, um, it's definitely different. We are day two. We are headed up to our second campsite. Um, we, we both passed out, I wanna say at seven o'clock last night. I can't say we slept really great, cause we you know, wake up about every hour to reposition. The temperature kinda of continues to drop as you go throughout the night, so you have to wake up and put on more clothing as it gets colder. Okay, so we just came down there and around and around that mountain, all the way coming down. And then if you can see over here, there's a little valley we went between. So it's weird, we were literally just hiking on these rocks and now all of a sudden we're in the forest again. So all that altitude we lost coming down from the other side, we're now going back up. Oh my God, baby, <laughs> that's the big horses. So we end up doing 4.5 miles today. Um, it was really hard. It's straight up and straight down both. So that is Vienna sausage, barbecue, and mashed potatoes. That's beef stroganoff. Jennifer says it tastes exactly like you would expect, except for the meat's a little gritty. Hey, so it's 7.20, right? 7.30. It's like an hour before sunset. And <laughs> we are tucked in. We're ready to go to sleep. Wow, that's kind of creepy. Hey, so we got out about seven o'clock this morning and we're going 
straight up a mountain to Odessa Lake. I want to say we're closing in. Well, we, we have to be above 10,000 by now. This trail is so pretty though. It almost has kind of a, a Lord of the Rings kind of feel. 42 minutes ago, we were right down there. So it is really wild how up here you turn the corner and the trail just completely changes in the scenery. It's like being on an alien planet all of a sudden. Oh wow. This is our first snow we've seen. Oh wow, look up there, it actually almost blocks the trail. Hey, so we have successfully summited Mount Joe Mill. Doesn't sound very exciting, but <laughs> Mount Joe Mill. So, as soon as we start going downhill, Jen goes into turbo mode. I don't know if I can keep up with her. So we are still coming down the mountain. I think I've officially reached my limit. <laughs> and I don't know if it's from the pack I'm carrying or I know we're almost done and I'm just ready to be out. The one thing we really liked about here was the complete lack of cell reception. Um, and we both had our phones with us. We were taking pictures, but then if we did have cell reception, we would start checking emails. And I think one nice thing about here is for the most part, you did not have uh, cell reception. You did not have access to technology. And I think that really helps you disconnect and really enjoy and experience what's going on around you. And that's been really awesome about, about hiking in these mountains as well. So one thing we are really looking forward to is uh, getting off the mountain and uh, taking a shower and sleeping in a real bed.